Hello, I'm Ilian St. Hilaire, and in this video, we're going to talk about server and database migration. So you're maintaining a mesh central server. Oftentimes you maintain many more than just one. And you have the situation where you got to move a server from one server, uh, one mesh central server from one computer to another. Maybe you have uh, a virtual machine you want to change. You have hardware you want to change. And so you want to make sure that the mesh central server you have on machine A transfers over to machine B and all the users and all the agents continue to connect unaffected. So how do we do that? And later on, we'll talk about changing and migrating the database. So let's take a look at this. First scenario I want to talk about is uh, migrating the uh, server. So I'm going to have Mesh Central A here that has users using browsers connecting to it. I have agents connecting to Mesh Central A. And I have a domain name, a DNS name, that is pointing to server A right now. And obviously, it's important to set up your first Mesh Central server correctly. Don't use an IP address. Always use a, a DNS name when you set that up. Because then, if you want to migrate, you can later on point that DNS name to server B. Now, what we're going to do is, before we change the DNS name to, from server A to server B, we want to make sure that server B works correctly. We're going to put server A in maintenance mode, and then we are going to switch the DNS. And then, after about an hour or so on, we're going to turn off server A. So that's the plan for how we're going to do this. So. I'm going to demonstrate it here. And the way I'm going to demonstrate it is to run both servers on my computer. I have my surf, I have Mesh Central A on the top here. It's running on port 80, uh, 443. Uh, it's running in hybrid mode with the latest version. And on the right, you can see it. Uh, you know, I'm logged in, so I can, for example, click on a computer and remote desktop and so on, and everything is working. So that is uh, server A right there. Now I have server B, and I'm going to break server A, like stop it. I'm going to run server B, and I'm just going to show off that I installed server B completely vanilla. So I basically just did npm install mesh central, and uh, server B ran. And so you see it's in LAN mode, so it's not configured at all. And it says server has no users. Next uh, account will be site administrator. If I click to reload the page, it says that this has an invalid certificate, of course, because it's a brand new certificate here. And if I try to log in, it won't work. And in fact, because there's no account on this on server B, you can see here it has the don't have an account create one, and this account is, will be the administrator account. So I have a completely vanilla server B that I just installed. So okay, that's great, but now I want to move my user accounts, all my certificates, everything from A to B. So let's take a look at how to do that. So I'm going to first um, break server B here. And I'm going to open the folder for server A and take a look at what we have in uh, server A. We have a uh, mesh central backup folder. This is where all your uh, daily backups will be uh, if, if you have that running. You have mesh central data, which is super important. We have mesh central files, which is all the user files that are stored on the server. Um, if you enable that, then you'll have some user files here you'll, you'll need to copy. Then node modules contains all the executable stuff. So node modules is not something we're going to copy over to the new server. We already have in server B, we already, if you look at, at it here, we already have known modules. What we want to do is copy our data files. So what, what we want to do is copy mesh central data and also possibly mesh central files if you have user files, if you enable that feature. So, but in my case, I don't have any user files. So, um, so all I need is mesh central data. So what I can do is just copy this straight from the first ser server to the second server. So I can just delete from server B my mesh central data copy the one from A to B. There we go. And oops, actually, I want to copy it. I happen to be on the same computer, so I'd moved it. 
but I want to, I want to do a copy here. So now I have my, my mesh central data from server A back uh, over to server B. And by the way, if you don't know much about the mesh central data folder, it has all your essential certificates to prove the identity of your server to the agents. It has your Let's Encrypt certificate. It has your config.json. Of course, all your configuration is there. So this is super, super important, especially these two files and the root cert right here. These four files are absolutely critical because if you lose them, the agents won't be able to connect to your server. They, they'll think you're an imposter server, and so they'll never, ever connect. OK, so I've copied that over uh, to the, um, to the uh, server A, uh, server B. Uh, one note also is that as I was running server B here, all the agents from server A were trying to connect, and they were all failing the connections. So the the agent, all the agents would be connecting, seeing the original configuration with the different certificates, say, this is not the server I'm supposed to connect to, and the agents would all fail the connection. But now I've copied all the certificates over, and so now I can run a server B, and I'll just go ahead and do that. And as soon as that runs, there you go. Now you can see it's already in hybrid mode and so on. And then if I hit refresh, now, of course, it's, um, I'm using the, the certificate. I'm, us, uh, I'm using a private certificate here in, in both cases. So I just switch shirt. I'm going to re-log in. And now you're going to see that all the agents are already connecting to server B. OK? Now, I just changed the configuration over. But I didn't talk about the database. And so this is a little important to understand. In the case of my configuration, I was using Mongo. I'm currently using Mongo. So if you look at my config.json, I have Mongo right there, the, the connection string. So as I copied the file over from A to B, if your Mongo, if you're not changing your database and your database is in some other computer, and so your Mongo connection string is the same, then obviously as you go from A to B, uh, as long as your database is identical, that, you know, and it's an off-server database, then uh, that will work. But if you don't have um, Mongo, if you're using any DB, which is the built-in database that uh, Mesh Central has, then what you'll see is you'll see files like meshcentral.db. You'll see a few files, and in fact, I may try to. I'm going to try to uh, find here, Mesh Central. Oops, sorry, Mesh Central data. I have um, I have a bunch of data files, but right here, these DB files, and um, I'll copy just for I'll copy those just for illustrative purposes here. But normally, if you're using any DB, then the database files will be right here, the .db files. And so uh, then all you have to do is copy these files along with the mesh central data, and the database will also be copied, basically. So if you're using any DB, migrating is super, super easy. Just grab the mesh central data folder from the old server, put it to the new one, you're done. You know, it, basically, the mesh central data includes the database. If you, um, if you are using MongoDB, MariaDB, or uh, uh, MySQL, then obviously, if it, they're off server, your, your migration will be fine. If they're somewhere where you need to migrate the database, then you will need to do that uh, separately. OK, so that should be pretty simple and clear. Uh, and by the way, if I haven't mentioned this already you know, a gabillion times, before you do any migration, please copy your mesh central, dot, uh, mesh central data folder offsite. You just make a backup of that super, super, super critical folder. OK, now that you have server B running, like I do, normally uh, my, my server B here has all the agents connecting because I'm running both on the same uh, computer. But normally, if you're running on two different computers, then you would have to, at this point, to just make sure that server B is running correctly. You can log in. You see all the, the uh, user accounts. Everything looks fine. And then what you do is you switch the DNS 
from pointing from A to pointing to B. And you're, once you make the DNS switch to the new IP address, depending on the time to live of your domain name, you, sometimes it's one hour, sometimes it's a day, you know, 24 hours. In that case, it, you know, there's some caching going on here. It will take a while for all these agents to move over to server B. And so, um, so that's something to, to just be aware of. Now, the other thing is, well, server A, at some point you're copying the database to server B, you don't want any users continuing to log in to server A. And so one trick you have is that you can go in the config.json for server, I think I, I'm in, I'll grab this, config.json for server A. There you go, right here. And you, there's a flag called maintenance mode. And so I'm gonna turn on maintenance mode of that server. And then I'm gonna stop B, start A again. But now A is in maintenance mode. So you'll see this message. And basically this, uh, this allows any users except administrators from logging into the server. So what you could do is switch A to maintenance mode and then start it up again uh, all the agents will still connect, but of course users won't be able to connect anymore. At that point, you can grab the database, you can grab your files, go to, copy them to B, make sure B runs correctly. Obviously agents won't connect to B until you switch a DNS name, but just make sure using the IP address of B that everything works fine and then you are uh, set to go. You switch a DNS and then and maybe, you know, uh, after a little while, maybe an hour, you turn off A and you are running only on B, and you should see all the agents switch over. So that's server migration. Uh, another thing I wanna talk about very quickly is database migration. So very often what you have is you start out with NEDB, and uh, NEDB is not really a database that's uh, maintained anymore. Um, it has, you know, it's now starting to report security issues. You don't want to use that for any professional use. You want to really go for Mongo, uh, ideally Mongo or MariaDB or uh, MySQL. So if you want to switch the, the database, you probably already have uh, user accounts on NEDB. You already have users and stuff. You want to be able to transfer the database without um, losing your data. So. The, the way to go, and I'm, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, just for fun, I'm uh, server B, I believe, so server B is currently using, um, is currently using Mongo. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna switch it over to NEDB. Now normally you would do the opposite, but uh, it's the same principle here, uh, it's the same thing. So I'm gonna grab server B, I'm gonna stop it, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, is run server db manually, dash dash db export bob.json, for example. So this is gonna take all the essential um, you know, user accounts, device accounts, user groups, device groups, um, all the important stuff, and it's gonna dump them into this JSON file. So it's called uh, bob.json here, and should have it, it's right there. It's actually in my uh, root folder of my mesh central. So now what I can do is I, I could move that over or what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to edit the config.json and I'm going to remove the Mongo, okay? So now when I run it, it is, oops, sorry. Now when I run it, it's gonna run with any DB. So as soon as I run it, it says, oh, I have no users, and it created all the DB files, and now agents are starting to connect, but they're like, wait a minute, I don't know this device group because the database is empty. But what I'm gonna do is do dash dash DB import bob.json, and this is going to import the uh, objects that I exported from my database back into NEDB, or whatever the current database for Mesh Central is. And then I'm gonna run it, and boom, I'm back in business. So now if I hit refresh, I'm on server B, and you can see that I have all the devices, 
and I have all the user accounts and everything, they've all been transferred. In this case, from MongoDB to NEDB, but you know, same, um, same thing. So that should be fairly easy. So let's see, I think I'm, I'm done. Uh, basically, migrating Mesh Central from one server to another should not be too difficult. Make sure to copy all your configuration files over. Uh, install a new server first. Make sure the new server works correctly. You have all the settings copied. You have your database copied. And then, uh, and then you change the DNS once you're ready to go and shut down server A. So that's uh, pretty, pretty easy. If ever you have a catastrophic crash, just make sure that you have regular offsite backups. If you want to migrate your database, use the db import db export command. Uh, makes it super, super easy. Hopefully that was helpful. Thank you very much.